Hi guys, welcome back to Storybook Crochet. In today's video, we are going to be making the Witch's Brew Cauldron Crochet Pattern. So we, we will just make making this part in today's video. In part two, we will make the handles and we will make all the bubbles. So you don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. And that will give you a little ding every time I have a new video up so you don't miss the part two of this video. So let's go ahead and we'll go over our supplies and then we'll get started. All right, to get us started, the materials you are going to need are uh, worsted yarns. Um, you'll need a gray or a black, depending on what type, uh, what color you want your cauldron. And I'm going to use two different shades of green for this one, but you can stick with one. And then you're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need two 15 millimeter safety eyes, a yarn needle, some scissors, and you're going to need some fiber fill. So let's grab all those supplies and we'll get going. I also just wanted to add real quick that you can find the pattern for this on my Etsy or Ravelry shop if you prefer the written pattern. And right now on Etsy, the pattern is on sale, so you can grab that for a little bit cheaper price. So if you prefer that, you can head on over and the links for those are in my description below. Okay, so to get started, you may also want to grab a stitch marker to help you with these rounds. We are going to start with our gray yarn. And the first thing we're going to do is make a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we're going to make six single crochets. All right, once you have those six made, you can go ahead and pull that tail so you can close the opening. And that is round one, so you'll have six single crochets. For round two, we're gonna increase around. So we're gonna put two single crochets in each of those stitches. So in your first um, stitch of this round, you're gonna make two single crochets in the one stitch, and then you're gonna keep doing that around. So at the end of round two, you'll have a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so at this point I go ahead and start using my stitch marker and I put it in the last stitch of each round, but some people put it in the first stitch. It just depends on what you prefer. All right, for round three, we're gonna start off with one single crochet in our first stitch. And then we're gonna increase in the next. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that around. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the second stitch. All right, so repeat that pattern around and at the end of round three, you're gonna have a total of 18 single crochets made. All right, so moving on to round four is going to be our next increase round. So we're gonna make two single crochets. So one and two, one in each of the first two stitches there, and then you'll increase in the third stitch. Okay, so again, that's one single crochet, one single crochet, and then increase in that third so at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 24 single crochets made. So at this point, I'm going to let you go ahead and just finish the round. You'll want to pause the video 
and finish round four until you have it complete and then we'll meet back and we'll move on to the next round. Okay, so moving on to round five, we are going to do three single crochets, one each across the first three stitches, and then we're gonna increase in the fourth. Okay, so again, that's three single crochets and then increase in that fourth stitch. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 30 single crochets. So go ahead and finish off round five and I will meet you back at the beginning of round six. All right, so moving on to round six, we're going to do four single crochets and then increase. So I'm sure you can see the pattern by now. So do your four single crochets and then increase in that fifth stitch. At the end of round six, you'll have a total of 36 single crochets. Okay, so the next two rounds are basically the same thing we've been doing our, our last two increase rounds for the base of our cauldron. So I'm just gonna tell you how to do both of those. So for round, let's see, what are we on? We are on round seven. You're gonna do five single crochets and then increase. At the end of that round, you'll have a total of 42 stitches and then Round eight, you're gonna do six single crochets and increase. And at the end of that round, you'll have a total of 48 stitches. So I'm gonna write that down and put that up on the screen for you so that you don't um, miss one of those rounds. And I will meet you back at the beginning of round nine. All right, so we have finished the base of our um, cauldron here. So now we're gonna do um, kind of a special edging for the very bottom part of it. So for round number nine, we are going to slip stitch in the front loops only. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'll bring this a little closer for you. So you're just gonna go, so each stitch looks like a little V. You're just gonna go under that front little um, loop there of the next stitch. So normally you would go under both of the loops and that would be what that looks like. But for this round, we're just going to work under the front loop only. And you're just gonna slip stitch around. Now you don't, don't wanna make these slip stitches too tight. So just kind of a, a little bit looser with your hook and your yarn there and slip stitch in each stitch around until you get back to the beginning and that will give you a total of 48 slip stitches all the way around. So go ahead and do your slip stitches and then we will meet back and we will start round 10 where we will be then working in the back loop. All right, so we have finished our slip stitches around in our front loop only. And that's what kind of what the edging looks like there. So now we're going to work in the back loops of that last round that we did not work in. So we worked in the front loops. Now we're gonna go back to that same round and that would be round um, eight. And we're gonna work in that back loop. So you'll kind of see the loops there sticking up from that round. That's what you're gonna work in. So you're gonna go through that loop and we're just going to make single crochets around in all of those back loops. So again, you'll have a total of 48 uh, single crochets at the end of round 10, working in the back loop only of round eight and that's all you do for this round so go ahead and work your way around and we will start on round 11 when we get to the end okay so this is what our bottom edging should look like now so this when you work in the front loop and in the back loop of the same round and it just kind of gives an edge for our cauldron to sit on i just think that looks pretty nice when we do it like that all right, so we're gonna move on to round 11. And for this round, we're going to increase one more time. So we're gonna make three single crochets. And then in the fourth stitch, we're gonna increase. So again, three single crochets, one, two, and three and then increase in the fourth stitch. And you'll repeat that around a total of 12 times. And you will have a total of 60 single crochets at the end of this round. All right, this is what our cauldron should look like after our first 11 rounds. So now for the next 13 rounds, and this will be rounds 12 through 24, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. 
So that's all we do for the next 13 rounds. And again, that's rounds 12 through 24. And I will again, write that up on the screen for you to look at while you're finishing up these rounds. So go ahead and finish all of those rounds and then we will meet back. And the next thing after that, that we will do is put on the eyes and the mouth before we finish off the top part of our cauldron. All right, so you should now be finished with your first 24 set of rounds. You're gonna wanna go ahead and add the eyes and you're gonna put your safety eyes between rows 16 and 17. So just count back and insert between those three rows and you're gonna have three visible stitches between each eye. And then you can go ahead and sew on the mouth if you are wanting to add that to your cauldron. So go ahead and do those two things and then we'll move on to round 25. All right, so for round 25, we're going to be doing a decrease round. We're actually gonna be doing that for two more rounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make three single crochets. And then after those three single crochets, we're gonna decrease over the next two and I'll show you real quick how to do that. So you're gonna insert your hook into your next um, stitch there. You're gonna yarn over and pull through. Then you're gonna insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook and then you're just gonna yarn over and pull that through all three of those loops. So you just turn two stitches into one. So you're gonna just repeat that pattern around for around 25. So three single crochets. And then I'll show slowly show you a decrease again if you're not sure how to do those. Okay, so just repeat that pattern all the way around for round 25. After this round, you will have 48 total uh, single crochets. All right, so moving on to round 26, we're doing the same basic pattern we did in the last round, but this time we're gonna do six single crochets. So make your first six single crochets and then we'll decrease after that. And that's all you do for round 26. And this is our last um, decrease round. So go ahead and do six single crochets and then decrease all the way around. After this, you will have a total of 42 single crochets. All right, so that was our last um, decrease round. So for round 27, we're going to be just one single crochet in each stitch around, but we're going to be working in the back loop only. So insert your hook bring this a little bit closer so you can see better in between the two loops of the next stitch and then you're just gonna go under that that top loop there or the back loop and then you'll make your single crochet and you'll only be working in that back loop in every stitch for this round so that's gonna create that little edge right there because the front loop is not being worked in so it leaves it there on the edge and we will be using that a little bit later on to sew down the brim of the cauldron. Okay, so go ahead and keep working your single crochets in the back loop only all the way around for round 27. And again, you will have 42 single crochets at the end of this round. All right, moving on to round 28. We are actually going to be working in the front loop only of this round. So you're just gonna go under that very um, front loop there of each round and single crochet around. So just this basically the same thing as the last round but the front loop only this time. So that's going to be creating an edge behind this and we will use this edge to sew on the uh, main part of our bubbles round. So it just makes it easier to sew things on when you have a loop there to work with so that's why we're leaving those unworked okay so for round 28 just keep single crocheting in the front loop only around and again with this round you will have 42 single crochets all right so to finish off this pattern we are going to do five rounds of single crochets so just one single crochet in each stitch around and that will be rounds 29 
through 33. So go ahead and complete those five rounds and then we're going to finish off this part of the cauldron and this will end part one um, of the video. So just stay tuned for part two. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. If you're watching this the first day that this part's up, it might be up the next day and you don't want to miss that. All right, so go ahead and finish off rounds 29 through 33 and then we will come back and we're going to finish off with some sewing and this will be the end of part one of the cauldron okay so we have finished all of our rounds for um, the cauldron so go ahead and slip stitch to that next stitch there and then you're gonna want to cut a fairly long tail because we're gonna use that to sew down this top part of the cauldron so cut that and then you're gonna grab your yarn needle after you finish this off Okay, so let's grab our yarn needle and I'll show you how to do this part. So you're going to want to fold this top part to down to where this top last edge of our row here meets the front loops that we left unworked down here below. So we'll get that all folded over and then all you're going to do is you're going to make your stitches around in that those front loops only that we left and you're just going to stitch around to that to sew the whole thing down just go in the corresponding stitch from that front loop and then that's all you do so when you get back around to the front you're just going to uh, weave in that end and then that finishes off part one of our cauldron all right, so go ahead and work that around and we will meet back at the end after we finish that off. And then I will show you what we're gonna be making for part two. All right guys, so this is the end of part one of our cauldron uh, video. So you'll want to stay tuned for part two. I should have that up soon. If you're watching this later on, then obviously that's already up. So I have a link for that in the description below so that you can move on and we can finish off this cauldron. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Mm -hmm.